BuzzFeed Australia and Twitter today announced the launch of a new live show, Ozpol Live. Greenlit for a five-episode pilot season, Ozpol Live will launch on 9 May at 11 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time exclusively on Twitter via BuzzFeed Ozpol with a federal budget special. Hosted by BuzzFeed Australia's politics editor Alice Workman, at Workman Elise, Ospol Live will broadcast live from the Australian Parliament House Press Gallery on the Wednesday of each parliamentary sitting week. The live stream will be free and accessible globally to logged in and logged out users on Twitter and connected devices. You can follow the conversation via each 45 to 60 minute episode of Ospol Live will take viewers inside the press gallery to unpack the latest Canberra shenanigans, political maneuvering and policy hotspots. Alice will be joined by politicians and commentators, as well as fellow BuzzFeed news reporters including Josh Taylor, Lane St. Gina Rushton and Paul Farrell. Ospol Live will be a mix of timely and incisive interviews, big scoops, Twitter banter and entertaining segments that tease and probe the often surreal side of Australian federal politics. Ospol Live will be a must-watch for news out of Canberra moves so quickly, and the Twitter conversation never fails to entertain as much as it informs, and that's the same balance we'll strike on Ospol Live, Australia's first show devoted to the unique way Aussie politics plays out on Twitter and beyond. I can't wait to bring our audience into the story and have that real-time feedback as we broadcast. We can trust them to keep us on our toes. For years now, People turn to see what's happening in world of politics every day, and the at BuzzFeed Ospol team have long been a vital source for many of our users, said Jonathan Harley, Twitter's APAC Director of News Partnerships. We are excited to collaborate with Alice and BuzzFeed to bring their distinctive voice to a live show, broadcast alongside the best real-time. Into BuzzFeed News live video productions around the globe, from the US inauguration to Brexit debates in the UK, and Twitter show AM to DM broadcast daily from New York City continues to draw millions of viewers each week. Executive producer of BFO's Poll Live is Nicola Harvey, and Inbox News is the production partner. Sign in with LinkedIn Ospel BuzzFeed Facebook Twitter one again B. A. Not so much a like but definitely a candelabra. The ABC and strife for putting the boot into former PM, Tony Abbott. Which should hardly come as a shock to anyone. Why do media outlets continue to give those awful Kardashians any RP? If it's not already a great platform for ugly baby photos. Bots now being used to ease the pain of Uni of Adelaide enrollments. Just not the pain of having to live in Adelaide. Do you smoke a pack a day, love motorbike stunts? The man, round the office. Okay, we'd never heard of them. Yes, we're listening to Nickelback. NRL and the Red Cross Blood Service unveil a new, give blood campaign that oddly doesn't refer to it as Claret. Always wanted to pitch your own TV show? Well, it appears Channel 9 has some gaping holes November through March. Voice technology company Acast has been named as the BBC's commercial partner to monetize the broadcast as podcasts and audio outside of the UK. The exclusive deal marks the first time the BBC has offered advertising around its podcast library. The BBC began producing podcasts in 2004 and is one of the largest podcast producers in global firm Medicine Research has released the second annual comprehensive Australian study of the digital audio, social media, mobile, smart speaker and podcast habits of Australians. The latest research into what audio technology Australians are using includes for the first time the newcomers to the sector, smart speakers. Key findings show a rise in radio, UNLTD announces Melbourne board and never once mentioned the AFL or their hatred of anything to do with Sydney. If you read this Lita announcement while listening to Boz Skaggs, Lido Shuffle, it won't improve it in any capacity. If you think B. Gaspar Kovac has joined the growing creative and interactive team at full-service agency ThinkHQ as art director. Hailing from Hungary, Kovac joins ThinkHQ from London where he was art director at DDP Remedy. Further experience includes middleweight creative at Havas Life Medicom in London and junior art director at DDB Budapest. Kovac joins. This story has almost no relevance to the media. Your presentations and in deafening silence. As good as this Tarantino spoof is, as a warning, it'll probably make no sense whatsoever to anyone aged under about 30. Thus far, has your innovation program delivered a large bill? Coincidentally, B. Did we say beans? We meant chocolate, M. Are you a sucker for convoluted financial terms? Such as B. Video veteran seems to have taken a leaf out of B. Do you often find yourself worrying about News Corp taking over the world? Get ready to tremble with this news. 
those who recently locked themselves into an Optus contract for the EPL are breathing a sigh of relief after this news. Following in the footsteps of Kanye West, Trafalgar is welcoming guests to the good life in its latest safety clip. Outdoor giant Ooh Media has secured two uni contracts, along with invites to the next on-campus toga parties. It appears Clemenger BBDO's Carmela Source is not just a skilled creative, but can also build office grandstands. Icon staff have signed up to NIB for its accidental injury benefit before celebrating with an office crowd surfing comp. It appears Publicis senior leadership team and QLD have kindly halted their hedge maze challenge to pose for this photo. The editorial team here at B's announcement has poked holes in B. Voila, at first, B. In some positive Facebook news, an agency is using its facial recognition technology to search for missing persons. Prefer a hike into the wilderness over sipping piña coladas by the pool come holiday time. This will turn you on. If you thought Studio 10 was riddled with rancorous acrimony then the bio will practically smack you in the face here. Other than possibly a Brian Dependable or possibly a Karen Kosher, who couldn't trust a Janine Virtue, B. It's preposterous frilly shirts and maracas forum staff today after the arrival of these latest doohickeys. Has the domino effect begun at WPP following Sir Martin's surprise exit? As in potential buyouts, not as in the pizza. If you think B. Hugh Marks forced to delay new spoiler and 22-inch mags for the company Lexus after learning of this unpleasantness. Most of us typically regard banks as the wicked witch of the West, so this clever campaign is definitely apartment. Do you love to while away the hours while traveling at about 4 km per hour? Then a Sydney bus ride is definitely for you. Is your CEO all the more stupidly erroneous overestimations than anything optimized? Well, strap yourself in here. MasterChef unveils record number of partners for the 2018 season, which sadly doesn't include Alka Seltzer or Imodium. Just when you thought we'd reached peak Sophie, comes even more Sophie. Which is bad news if you're over Sophie. Alcohol advertising again under the spotlight. Yet, no mention of its gift of giving the rhythmless the power of dance. For the Fall Laffy Awards announcement experience, try reading this in a ball gown. We'd like to say this came from a one-on-one -on -one with the news chief, however, it would be one of many bald-faced lies today. Answer this survey and you could pocket a cool grand. Well, maybe $820 after B. We're taking all financial advice from B. It's a new Qantas spot that thankfully includes neither a nauseating kids choir or anything to do with Peter Allen. Aussie supermodel and former Victoria's Secret Angel Elise Taylor is Pantene's newest ambassador, launching its new Pantene Pro V foam conditioner. Taylor's blonde tresses have graced international runways and magazine covers, but at heart the Sydney-born model still calls Australia home. While she never forgets her roots when it comes to her upbringing, Taylor admits she the Children's Medical Research Institute, CMRI, has launched its new look, Jeans for Jeans campaign that is a powerful call to action from children to, fight with me, fight for me, in the battle against genetic diseases. March 1 was appointed in January this year by the CMRI to refresh the iconic fundraising campaign as it, Isabar Australia's business division dedicated to societal impact work, Isabar Good, is inviting businesses across Australia to enter for the chance to take part in a free, design jam. A design jam uses human-centered design to explore the social impact challenge at hand, providing participants with the opportunity to experiment with concepts and prototypes that Studio 10 unveils new on-air recruits after sudden departures. Not that anyone with a job would know what Studio 10 is. In any pitch there's always a winner. But in this instance, the winners become the loser, if that makes sense. Snapchat to roll out six-second unskippable ads. What, we can't sit through six seconds? What have we become as humans? B. The actual story is more wet cabbage. Who hasn't wanted to punch a colleague or industry rival fair square in the chops? Well, why not do it for a good cause? Discover what makes the Ottawa Empire's Joe Dafina tick right here. Not to suggest she's swallowed a large clock, however. Are former lovers or known enemies in possession of unsolicited photographs of your nipples? Good news here, boob fans. News announces plans for a garage sale with regional titles, Adelaide Rams jersey. Jeff Bezos set to use his trillions to fight world hunger and cure cancer. Yeah, B. Confused about the AFL's latest player scandal. Well, let trusty Kochi be your guiding hand through all the murk. I truly Beards and Steph Body Odor the first to go after Mullen Lau Group Snare's personal care client. 
It's a testament to the Cadbury brand that, booze aside, it's one of the first things stolen from the beef. Nothing says a chilly winter quite like gas and the subsequent whopping gas bill, does it? Facebook has unveiled a massive advertising spree that attempts to dissuade people it is in fact the devil incarnate. Changing the ratio early bird tickets finish midnight tonight. And with the money you save you could buy an actual bird. Dave Barham has pulled on the pads, positioned the box and adjusted the helmet as Seven's new head of cricket. Cloud accounting software provider Zero has revealed the next phase of its beautiful business brand campaign. The national campaign showcases the moments that define beautiful business, from the flexibility of remote working, to reclaiming valuable time and the chance to focus on the important things in life, enabled by streamlined accounting and business processes. The, if you learn just one thing from the B, women talking hot flushes, strange nipple locations and the inability to get dates. This could not feel more familiar. Community spirit, evil board members in an Aussie radio station, what more could you want from a story? Not wanting to be outdone by its social media rival, Twitter has also brought good tidings to its shareholders. Looking to criticize Anzac Day and the lack of free speech in Australia? Perhaps don't use Twitter to do so. Speaking of contagious, an office-wide illness has hit B. Our sick intern has promised it's only food poisoning. Do you love getting stuck into a box of shapes during your working day? Become more fond of them by reading this. Get the paper plates ready and turn the kettle on, there is a new face in town at Think TV. Coincidentally, the B. Meltwater has bought a social media company that B. Consider this B. Unless we remind you again tomorrow. We advise you to treat this story as a very valuable lesson to attend B. Leo's new recruits have done well to contain their excitement over joining the agency in the accompanying press photo. Can boss Terry Savage is set to join TMA as B.